Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to use exponents to solve real-world application problems. I was at a store the other day and I saw a milk crate on the floor that is four cans wide and four cans high and four cans long. If each can contained four quarts of milk, how much milk is in the crate? That was a question I had. So I wanted to apply my knowledge of exponents and find out the amount of milk in that crate. So I quickly worked out the 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 procedure what we ha what uh, what I have learned and I wanted to apply it here. First, I wanted to find the volume. Uh, first, I wanted to find the volume. How do we find the volume? The length, the long side times the 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 short side times the depth. L is the long side, which is four four cans long, and the the width is four cans wide, and the depth is four cans deep. So I wanted to first find the volume. So I could have I I can represent this one as an exponent, four to the power of three, like that. Then I wanted to find out the total volume, the total quantity of milk in that crate. So how do we find the total quantity? Total quantity. Let me write it here. Total quantity is equal to is equal to the volume volume is represented by V times the quantity per can quantity quantity per per can so in here in here the volume is 4 to the power of 3 and we said if each can if each can if this is a can if let's say this is a can and we said each can contain four quarts four quarts of milk therefore we multiply that by four the quantity per can is four the volume is four to the power of three and therefore now the total quantity I can figure it out as follows four to the power of four isn't it four to the power of four now this is an exponent and if we if we want to find out what four to the power of four is we know from our from our presentation so far that the base term needs to be repeated the number of times the exponential term is indicating to us four needs to be repeated four times four times four times four times four four times four is sixteen four times four is sixteen therefore sixteen times sixteen is two hundred and fifty six 256. What is the total quantity of milk we have in that crate? It is 256 quarts. 256 quarts. Now, we know something. If, if 4 quarts, if 4 quarts is equal to 1 gallon of milk, if 4 quarts is 1 gallon of milk, then, then we want to know 256 quarts 256 quarts is equal to how many gallons of milk what do we do we take 256 and then divide it by 4 divided by 4 and uh, when we simplify this we go to come up with 64 gallons 64 gallons of milk so therefore in this crate in this crate which was lying on the floor on in that particular store uh, there it, it has 64 gallons of milk so let us recap this is a real world application problem I have I've seen a crate on the floor of a store and there are the the crate had milk contained in in that and there are four can it was four cans long four cans wide and four cans deep I wanted to figure out how much amount of milk is there in that particular crate so quickly I remember that I can use my exponents here and therefore I wanted to find out the volume then I wanted to multiply that by the quantity per can 
the volume we can figure out by multiplying the length long side times the width times the depth of that particular crate the length long side is four units the width is uh, the long side is four cans the width is four cans the depth is four cans therefore we can express that as an exponent as four to the power of three then we wanted to find out the total quantity what did we do we took the volume and then multiplied by the quantity per can if the quantity per can when I read the label on the can it said four quarts so I then quickly multiplied that four to the power of three the volume by the quantity per can which is four quarts so then I could have I could write it out as an exponent again therefore I wrote it out as four to the power of four therefore where from my basics I know that the base term which is four needs to be repeated the number of times the exponential term is indicating to me and therefore I, I wrote it out as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 I multiplied the force which came up to 16 multiplied the force which came up to 16 16 times 16 is 256 quarts therefore if we know that if one if 4 quarts is 1 gallon then 256 quarts is if we take the 256 divided by 4 Therefore, we get the quantity of milk in that, in that particular crate is equal to 64 gallons. This is a real-world example. In my next presentation, we shall see how to use exponents to solve another real-world application problem.